What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elliot Delp and today we are going to be going over how to paint your rifle. So uh, it should be a good little video so let's get right into it. So, like I said before the intro rolled, we're going to be going over how to paint your AR-15. And I'm going to be doing a kind of like a little spray paint deal on this one right here. Um, this is my AR-15 or AR pistol, um, 7.62 by 39 uh, little pistol build. And it's already been spray painted. I'm going to do a close-up after I've talked about the process. Um, but when I started building this thing, I knew I wanted it a little different. I've never spray painted any of my rifles before. Um, if they have a color to them, they've been they're from the factory Cerakoted. Um, and I've seen a ton of videos online about people doing their own spray paint and doing their own um, Duracoat and all all the different stuff you can you can do um, on your own or professionally. And I don't know if you guys know this, but professionally to get your gun Cerakoted is pretty expensive. Um, there's a shop here locally that is a few hundred dollars depending on what you want. Um, if you want to go two-tone, like this one is, this one's green with a brown um, stencil. Uh, it, it's pretty expensive, so so that's that's what I wanted to do and this is my video kind of documenting my process and how I feel like it turned out. So to start with, this is just everyday parts. Um, Pretty standard stuff, nothing special. I went to the store. Uh, I got some spray paint. I got some uh, some masking tape and um, my little pattern bag. I went with what everybody else uses, a little laundry bag, really. I think it was it was a laundry bag. It was like a small laundry bag. So that's what I went with. I chose to do green and brown, which pretty sweet little color pattern. This is kind of local here. We do have a lot of greens and a lot of browns here in Virginia. We don't really do as much tan, I guess, unless you're in the field somewhere. But for the most part, it's very wooded, so I, I thought green and brown was a very good um, color combination. So the first thing I did when I started to paint this thing is I had it all separated. I didn't have any of the parts together. It was probably before it was before I built the actual rifle. Um, so I just did the lower, the upper receiver, and the rail. I don't really feel a need to spray paint my grip and my stock and stuff. I wanted the black accents. Um, so I did this pre me building the pistol. Um, so what I did was I taped off everything that led into the rifle. So for example, I taped off the mag well. I taped off. Um, any of the components that could possibly lead to paint getting in the internals of the rifle. Um, that was just for safety reasons um, and I don't want unnecessary gunk in there when there doesn't need to be. And I think it turned out very good. So after I taped everything off I layered it on with my base layer. So what my base layer was is I took just the green spray paint and just blast it over top of it. I did two coats completely green. Um, I put it on there pretty thick, I made sure to stay away, uh, made sure to be doing this in like the right heat that the spray paint can recommend. Um, but two good layers, two very good layers. And after I let that dry and settle, I went back. And when I went back, I went back with the um, with the brown and what I did was I laid the mesh bag over top of my receivers uh, the lower and the upper and the rail and hit some blasts on it and at first I was a little gentle with it um, I think that was a problem I had and something you should be aware of if you really want it really detailed and really in there you need to just lay on it with the spray paint so you don't need to worry about it bleeding around you just need to set your bag on there get just as close as you were with your base layer and hit it hard um, and I did that to one side and then the other side I kind of kind of was light too light with it 
Um, but I still think it turned out very good. So after I let it dry, I assembled it, made sure there was no um, no excess tape anywhere that I didn't want their tape to be. Um, put it together. It went together very well. I was afraid that some of the paint, like I didn't tape off up where the pins go, and I was afraid that the the spray paint would kind of um, gunk that up a little bit and I don't have any problems with it. I can still break this thing open very easily. Um, the spray paint didn't do anything bad in terms of uh, gunking it up any. And I think it turned out like a very sweet looking rifle. Um, the spray painting process was super easy. You just need to be careful and you need to know exactly what you want. Um, honestly, I don't think I'd do it any differently. I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome. I'm looking forward to seeing how it wears over time. Um, I did the green, my buddy did a tan, and we both did two layers, so I'm hoping that it holds up very well. Um, I've only taken it out to the range two or three times now, just to, just testing around with the pistol. Um, and I have no wearing in it, but we're going to go on a hog hunting trip soon. Um, I'm probably going to take this and the 6.5 Grendel and he's going to take his new pistol. Um, this is kind of going to be my like real ride around gun. But I'm going to take this on the hunting trip and see in how, how it wears just with a little bit of daily use. Um, I have, like I said, I haven't had that, haven't had it out much uh, and I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how it, how it fares and functions. So. Overall, I really recommend it. I don't regret it at all. It was super simple. I didn't do anything special to it. I didn't prime it. Um, a lot of people asked me when I told them I was painting a gun. They were like, are you going to prime it? No, I didn't prime it. I just spray painted it. I, it was just a lower and an upper, and I just hit it with some spray paint. Um, there was nothing special to it. Just tape, spray paint, and a bag. It's really all I used, and it was a super simple process. I really, really recommend just personal preference, I really recommend just doing it like that lower upper rail. Um, I think the black accents look awesome. Um, not saying that completely spray, spray painted rifles don't look awesome, but I think this thing with the black accents looks absolutely amazing. Um, I'm very happy with how it turned out and don't regret it at all. Um, one of the things I was worried about was it being sticky. It's not sticky. Um, feels just like my Cerakoted guns, nice, normal, and uh, really nothing really different. So I think that about does it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope I encouraged you to spray paint your rifle. Um, it's something I definitely, definitely don't regret, and it was super cheap too. Spray paint was like ten bucks. If you want to do anything else, it's more expensive. Even on like a gun skin, like that one back there, 60 bucks. And it took a lot more time. The longest part of this was taping up everything. Um, and that's just to protect your rifle. Gun skin took like three hours, and that was putting on the paint. So I definitely recommend it. Um, if, you, if you did enjoy the video, hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean the absolute most to me. I really appreciate it. And go comment down below. Comment down below some more color... Um, patterns because this is definitely not going to be the last one I spray paint. Uh, tell me what, you, what you'd what you like to see on like one of my future builds. I'll definitely do it again. No, no questions asked. I've been thinking really hard on maybe a gray of some sort. So go comment down below what you think. But I think that about does it. I will catch you guys next time. As always, take someone outdoors.